Hey Alexa, stop. All right, y'all. So, what's going on, everybody? It is day one forty. Can y'all hold up? Can y'all believe I have posted one hundred and forty daily vlogs while going to school, working full time, going to the gym, taking care of myself, in full transition from a new state. To be more specific, from Massachusetts to Michigan, to a place I've never been before until now. And life happening at the same time. I just, you know, I'm not trying to sound cocky and I'm not trying to come off that way. But I just have to give myself a little bit more kudos and a little pat on my back. Because I couldn't even post weekly vlogs back at home when I wasn't working and I was just chilling so the fact that i'm way busier now and i'm somehow managing to do this shit it has to be acknowledged um so yeah but uh aside from that thank you for being here if you're new to the channel remember to click subscribe well wait a few minutes vibe with me see if you resonate and then click subscribe if not cool thank you for the view thank you for spending time for all my returning subs and supporters and families what's going on y'all i'm praying that you are having an immaculate beautiful sunday uh today we have a few things planned okay today's vlog is extremely most likely going to be random um right now i am ready to go to church and take photos because believe it or not i am a photographer at my church so Today is my turn to take the photos, but also this is a part of me working within the ministry. So I was like, yo, if I'm going to do anything for the church, it has to be something creative. Just like I said, if I'm going to work for anybody or a corporate or a company, it has to be something creative. So I've been finding ways to do that. And it feels good. After that, I'm going to meet up with my boy Norman. We're going to grab some brunch. He is from New York and somehow, some way he made it to Detroit to do a few things. So I was like, yo, you, we have to chill, grab some food, you know, catch up and chill. Um, and then after that, I have to come back home, clean up my house, meal prep and and get ready for the week to come. Plus record and edit this video all throughout my day. So that is what I have planned. Of course, we're always going to talk about something. I'm always going to reflect. I'm always going to share something with y'all. So make sure y'all stick around and let's get this day started. You have to like run for it? Yeah, you gotta run for it. But Jenna, it's all good. It's the strawberry. It always does that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jenna, you wanna come with me? Yeah, you can to brunch to cleaning up my house and meal prepping i still have some more meal prepping to go i'm not exactly just done but um for the most part you know i got what i needed to do i at least have a meal for the next two to three days so that's not bad what else did i do today i spoke with my boy aaron and we talked about something actually really interesting we talked about independency or just the feeling of being independent. And it's funny because he described something that I've been feeling internally since I got out here to Michigan. And it was the fact that like, what do you say? 
And it was just the fact that it feels good to just be able to know that you can literally do whatever you want. And not verbatim, but he said something along the lines of like I was sitting at a restaurant grabbing eating food and then thinking to myself like, oh, like I could do whatever I want right now. I could sit here for the next three hours or I could get up and go do something else or you know, he doesn't have like his parents over his shoulders or a wife or something like that. I don't know, kids like he's just independent in every aspect of his life. And he said that once he noticed that while he was eating, he had to take a second and just check himself for a bit and see what emotion he was feeling from it. And and that made me start thinking about my own experience as far as being independent since I moved out here to Michigan. And I realized that I'm not used to it and because I haven't been used to this level of independency that I'm not having a hard time doing it. I'm having a hard time accepting it. I'm having a hard, uh, an extreme hard time accepting this level of independency that I have because it requires a level of accountability that I have yet to like work towards, you know? It was almost like it was like forced. <laughs> Like you now you are accountable of these things that you have some life experience in doing, but not quite just yet, you know? So that I feel like I haven't been consciously thinking about it or aware of it. I think subconsciously I would feel overwhelmed or I would be anxious and I would just be like, Oh, life is happening, yada yada yada. But no, it really is this newfound level of independency that I'm just adjusting to. And, you know, I think sometimes for people who go from living with their parents, you know, and depending on them financially or, you know, with a house, food, whatever, X, Y, and Z, or even like, you know, maybe you had a group of friends back at home that you would depend on when you were lonely or sad or, you know, you had a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever the case is, right? We depend on people for different things. And when you just get up and move somewhere to just start your life or you just change your environment and you don't have those things that were once holding you up or filling those holes, you start realizing oh shit, like, not that you're empty, but you don't have the strong foundation that you think you had by yourself, you know? And it shows up when you forget to do certain things for your apartment or yourself, or it shows up when it shows up in your finances and how you spend money and how you save and what you invest in. It shows up in your in the new relationships that you are curating and cultivating for yourself, it shows up on in the plans that you make for yourself and how you spend your time. It just shows up in so many different types of ways, shapes, and forms. It's just interesting. I didn't know that I wasn't as independent as I thought it was up until now, if that makes sense. I hope I made sense. I hope I made sense. I hope I made sense. I guess what I'm trying to express is that being independent, if you're not used to it, takes time. Like, you're not going to get it in a day. You're not going to get it in a week. You're not going to get it in a month. You're not going to get it in a year. Like, you have to build yourself because you were counting on people, whether consciously or subconsciously. You were leaning on your family, friends, your community, your job, back wherever you were. You were leaning on a certain level of comfortability. You were leaning on, you know, you were leaning on people and things and certain spaces and environments that um maybe you just weren't aware of because you just have gotten accustomed to it. So now the fact that you are not in that space and place anymore and you're not surrounded by all these things that were holding you up and filling you up, you know, you kind of start to see shit and you kind of start to realize, oh shit, like I suck at meal prepping or I suck at cooking or I suck at, you know, being by myself or maybe what suck is such a harsh word, but yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. And the solution is just grace, y'all. Just take your time. Be graceful. Understand that you're just adapting to something you're not really used to and um, enjoy it. Most importantly, enjoy this newfound level of independency and do everything and mean everything as an individual that you do in your life and say in your life. All right. But remember to like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. Peace.